Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the app linked to your Fire Stick as well as the best codes to use there, which will allow you to get thousands of amazing apps to your Fire Sticks, the ones which are not available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And without any further ado, the first step you need to take is getting the app code downloader to the Fire Stick. If you already have the loader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course you need to follow me. So we have to go to the search on your Fire Stick, open the search bar and start typing downloader in here. And usually there is even no need to enter the whole name of the app, because as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Just click on it. And here is the app, which you need to get to your device. But then, after you got the downloader, it's not over yet, because now we still have to set it up on your device. To do that, we go to Settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, then scroll down and open My Fire TV. So we open it, and from here, you have to turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go to install known apps. And in here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn the option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now let's return to the list of apps on your Fire Stick. Here it is. Let's open it. And there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But now, before actually using the loader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say we'll connect to Norway right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free. Which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we just go back to the list of apps on your device, Let's open it and he then head for the downloader application. So you just open the loader on your device, go to the search bar right here, 
And now we have to enter a link, which is going to be app-linked.store. So let's enter that together. Once again, it's app-linked.store. Here you go, just enter the link as you see on my screen and without making any mistakes, obviously. Then you just click go and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. Then when this web page opens, you have to click on that green download app link button. You click on it and now this alternative app store will be downloaded to your Fire Stick device. And after the load is finished, you also need to make sure to install it to your device by clicking the installation button right here. So just wait a bit until it is installed. And after that, don't click on open yet. Instead, press done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And it's really important because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much free space available anyway. And now we actually have to go to the settings one more time. So we open settings and go to my Fire TV, developer options again, install unknown apps. And this time we have to turn this option over on for app linked so that app linked would be able to download other applications for you. And now finally, let's go straight to a list of apps on your device. Here it is, let me open it, and here's the app linked. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the home button on your remote. Just click on it and then press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it's going to be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use a link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. Then let's finally open app Linked, and I'll show you the best codes for your app Linked application. So when you open app link, you'll have to click on add a store. And now there we'll be entering the codes. We'll have quite a lot of them today. So the first code that we'll enter is going to be S A M 2121. So it's SAM2121. That is the first code we are entering. Click next and click add. Wait a couple of seconds until it is saved. And then to actually access that alternative app store, you have to click on the save store button. Then just select that code and click on open then. And now there, I have to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact applications that are available in here. But in your case, of course, it's not gonna be blurred. So basically you will get access to all kinds of movie apps, TV shows, live TV, live sports, IPD players, media players, utility applications, as well as some other alternative app stores. So there are tens or perhaps even hundreds of applications that are available to download. And if you decide to download any of those apps, you just select it, click on the install button, and the app will be installed in just a couple of seconds. So that is the first code and the first alternative app store, which you learned today, but it is not the last one, as I still got more apps and more alternative app stores for you. So we just head back, click on add a store again, and now it's time to enter some more codes. And now the next code that we'll enter is going to be 88099. So it's 88099, hit the next button, add the code to your list, go to saved stores and then change the store to 88099. Click open. And now this alternative app store also has quite a bunch of applications and a lot of unique ones, which you could not find in the first application. So it always makes a lot of sense to have not one alternative app store on your Fire Stick, but at least a couple of them. 
So there you also get a lot of movie apps, live TV, live sports and so on. So that was the second code. Now we head back, click on add a store again and it's time for us to get some more alternative app stores for you. So the next code is going to be 4346312. So it's 4346312. Click next and just like previously, add a code to your list. And then of course we go to the safe stores and select this one. Let's open it. And this alternative app store is also full of amazing applications for you. This one got around 20 apps, something about that. So not too many applications, but quite a lot of useful ones. So I hope you will enjoy it. And that was code number three. Now we go back and get you even more codes today. So click on add a store and you already know the drill. So it's time to enter more codes for you. So the next code is going to be 8970. So it's pretty simple, just 8970. Click next, save the code, and now it's time to open it. So let me do it quickly. Oopsie, clicked on the wrong one. So yeah, it should be 8970. Let's open it. And it's another amazing alternative app store for your Fire Stick. It's got around 15 apps, but all of them are updated and should work on any Amazon Fire Stick device. So if I'm not mistaken, we already got four alternative codes for you today, and it's not over yet, as we are still going strong. So we return to the list of apps, and it's time to enter another code. So it's gonna be 8, 1, 2, 0, 5, 1, 6, 9, 0. It's quite a long code. Once again, it is 8, 1, 2, 0, 5, 1, 6, 9, 0. Click that next button. And as always, just save the code and let's quickly open it to take a look. So here it is. And let me open that new code. And that's the last code for today. It's got around 30 applications, all kinds of movie apps, TV shows, media players, live TV, utility apps, and so on. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, and of course, never forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online when using such apps. See you next time. Bye-bye.